Today I'm going to show you how you can set up branch logic in a Google form. I have created a new form and it's going to be an exit ticket. I'm going to ask the first question for the students to put their name, which is a short answer question, and make it required. I'm going to add another question saying, do you have any questions about the learning today? And my two options for multiple choice are going to be yes or no. Now, branch logic allows me to go to a different page based on how the students answer the question. So if they answer yes, they're going to go to a different set of questions if they answer no. I'm going to make this a required question. And before I can set up the branch logic, what I need to do is I need to create a page for yes and a page for no. So on the right hand side, I'm going to add a section. And section two of two, my first section is going to be called yes. I'm going to add a question right here and say, explain the questions you have. And that will be a paragraph answer and make it required. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to add another section and this is going to be the no section. And if they answer no, the question that they're going to have to answer is, great, in two sentences, describe what you learned today. So they'll have to answer that. It will be a paragraph answer. I'll make that required. So I'm going to go back up here now to my question that I had created. In order to make it branch logic, I need to go down here to these little uh, three dots in the lower right hand corner. And I'm going to choose go to a section based on an answer. So now it gives me a couple options when I've done this. So now if they answer yes, I want them to go to the yes questions. If they answer no, I want them to go to the no section. So now, when they go and take, and the other thing that I want to make sure I do as well, so now if they answer yes, they're going to go to the yes section. If they answer no, they're going to go to the no section. But I need to make sure, I'm going to go down here, after they answer the yes, I don't want them to continue on to the no question. So I need to change this right here to say that after they answer that, they're going to submit the form. So after they answer the yes, if they did have questions and they write them down, then they'll submit the form. They don't have to do section three. And when I go to the no part, since that's the last question, it will have them submit the form. If I go and preview my form and I put in my name, if I go to yes and say next, I know I'm on the yes question. If I had submitted no, and next, now I'm in the no section. So that's uh, a quick overview of how you can create branch logic in a Google form.